Good morning, Lakeshore. It's time for your shore report. I'm Kyle. And I'm Sky. And today is Tuesday, November 10th, 2015. Today is National Vanilla Cupcake Day and the birthday of the Marine Corps. If you're interested in hosting a Chinese student over Thanksgiving weekend, please see Ms. Frost in room 212 for more information. If you are not able to commit to the whole weekend, you can sign up to take a Chinese student home for just Thanksgiving so they can experience this American holiday with you. Again, see Ms. Frost for more information. There will be a girls soccer meeting Thursday, November 12th in room 145 at 305. This meeting is for anyone interested in playing for the Lakeshore girls soccer team this spring. For the past six years, the Shepherd's Toy Shop has given away thousands of toys to poor and homeless children. Last year alone, we provided four gifts each and stocking stuffers. Your hands in the way. For household items for 492 kids. More kids this year. Lakeshore High School will have a collection box in the office or the library. See Miss Fain or Miss Isherwood to drop off new unwrapped toys during the month of November. Let's get a detailed weather report. But first, we're going to check in and see who's celebrating a birthday today. Lauren. Hello, Lakeshore. Melon here with the weather. Today's going to be high 49 and a low 37, and it is raining outside, but other than that, have a nice day. November is a month of thankfulness. Every day this month, we will be going around and interviewing people and seeing what they're thankful for. Okay, first off, I'm thankful for my family because I'm really glad, like, how I've been raised and my parents, and I've had, like, a supporting family. I'm glad for where I've grown up at, and I've been lucky to grow up here and not in, like, a place like a poor, really poor place like Africa or something along those lines. And I'm thankful for my girlfriend, Madeline. So, Mr. Cook, what are you thankful for? Uh, well, that's just this time of year. I've got a lot to be thankful for, but I think the most thing uh, is probably my baby. Uh, he's a seven-month-old, beautiful baby boy, uh, my wife, my family, and uh, my great friends and colleagues here at Lakeshore. Well, I'm thankful for my family and my pets and life, you know, because life's just awesome. What's your favorite kind of food on Thanksgiving? Uh, stuffing. Uh, not all of it. You're sitting at a table. It's all out there at your shirt. Stuffing. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. What is your favorite thing to do on Thanksgiving? Eat. Really? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. That's your final answer. No. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do? <laughs> What's your favorite kind of food on Thanksgiving? Turkey. Who doesn't like turkey? You got everything around you at this table. What What are you going for first? Mashed potatoes. Oh, that's fair. What is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Um, mashed potatoes. That's fair. What's your favorite Thanksgiving meal? Uh, okay, turkey. It's <laughs> a good one. What is your favorite thing to do on Thanksgiving? Watch football. That's really. No. The Lions suck. I know. I can't stand the Lions. Why? What? I don't know. Right now, yeah, I'm on the spot. Yup. That's what I thought. Mr. Man, what's your favorite thing to do on Thanksgiving? Eat extra turkey and gravy. What kind of gravy do you like? Brown. That's a good answer. What's your favorite uh, Thanksgiving activity? Football. The Lions? Yes. The Lions? We know the outcome of the game. Would you like to share the outcome of the game? <laughs> Where are the Lions? Fair. Miss Radluck, what is your favorite Thanksgiving activity? Being with my family. That's a okay answer, I guess. What's your favorite what's your favorite food that's served at Thanksgiving? Turkey, definitely. Mr. St. Lawrence, what is your favorite Thanksgiving uh, activity? Dinner. What's your favorite meal at dinner? Dinner is the meal. I mean, what is your favorite food that is at the dinner? Stuffing. What kind of stuffing? Stovetop. That is the best. Hey, Shelby. Yeah? What's your favorite uh, food to eat on Thanksgiving? I don't like Thanksgiving food. I just eat the roll. Bye, you're wrong. What is your favorite thing to do on Thanksgiving? Uh, like to hang out with my family. 
Really? That's there's so many activities, and you pick that one. Everything's closed on Thanksgiving. No, you can go do a lot of things. No. Again, I'm Kyle. And I'm Sky. And we uh we just want to let you know anyone interested in playing softball in 2016, a very short meeting will be held Wednesday, November 11th, right after school in the cafeteria. The lone subject will be waiting. That's not an S. That's an F, and that says football, not oh. softball. We're both wrong, but it's okay. We're going to get through this together. Anyone interested in playing football, there's the... Attention all art club members. The next meeting will be today. Uh, we'll be working on making mugs for our second annual Empty Mugs event and need all members to attend. Please be ready to get your hands dirty and work until 5 p.m. Again, the next meeting will be today. Hey, seniors. Have you had your senior picture taken yet? If not, make sure you make an appointment as soon as possible. Yearbook class needs all pictures before December 11th. If you had your pictures taken at Stewart's, they will deliver them to us. If not, you'll need to have your photographer deliver a digital copy to Mr. Sweet on a CD or via email. See your yearbook representative if you have any questions. Now, Sky messed up that announcement. If you're going to play football in 2016, there's a brief meeting after school about weight room opening, and it said that's the only topic about the meeting on the card. So. This is a reminder of those interested in being part of Eco Club. We will meet on Thursday after school in room 216. HOSA is running a food drive competition between the homerooms. We are looking for each homeroom class to donate a complete Thanksgiving dinner. Bring in food items and donating dollars to get a gift certificate for turkey. Bring in items like potato flakes, gravy, veggies, desserts, cranberry jelly, roll mix, and stuffing. The homerooms to make the goal, we'll put into a drawing for a pizza party. Collection will run through November 20th, so start bringing in those items for Thanksgiving dinners and help those in need. There will be a softball meeting after school Wednesday, November 11th in the that's, cafeteria. That's, that's softball. The other one's football. This is true. There we go. Uh, last Friday's trivia Good question job, was November, on November 6th, uh, 1860, this man became the first Republican to be elected president of the United States. He was either A, Andrew Jackson, B, Abraham Lincoln, C, Andrew Johnson, or D, Millard Fillmore. The answer is Abraham Lincoln, and Shelby Owens tweeted out the first correct answer. If you are a winner, make the long trip down to room 222 for your candy bar. 122. 122, I'm sorry, Lakeshore. Hmm? Uh, it's 122, hmm? not the other number I said. I don't even remember what I said, but it's 122. Come down here, get your candy. Here's today's trivia question. Do you know the answer? If you do, tweet us the answer at hashtag showing report. True or false? Thanksgiving is celebrated only in the United States. Is that really a, a question? Yeah, that's... I mean, hit, have hit a great day, Lake Shore. Shore. Just You guys have Columbus. a great day. There are nine days till Thanksgiving break. Have a great day, just for the third time today. Love you all. Love you all.